All right, so here's the thing, okay? Sometimes I'm hanging out with my white friends, right? And they're dropping all these movie references from my childhood that I know nothing about. What, you didn't have a childhood where your parents didn't take you to watch movies? Yes, I did have a childhood, and yes, my parents did take me to watch movies, but we just didn't go to the same theaters that you guys went to. We went to specialty Bollywood theaters. Yes, that's a real thing. I'm not making this up. I know it sounds like it's not a thing that should exist, outside of India, but guess what? It does, there's plenty of them, especially in Canada. You know, the place where multiculturalism is encouraged. You heard of it? Now, it never really occurred to me that I went to different theaters than the rest of my friends growing up until I actually went to school and we told stories about which movies we watched over the past weekend. Shit got kind of weird when it was my turn to talk. Hey, so what did you guys do this weekend? I watched a movie where the guy is Tarzan and he was like living in the monkey's house and playing games and his dad's a wolf. I saw a movie called Power Rangers and there was a black guy in it and a Chinese guy and there he's like fighting with all the other white guys and you know, I think that's really cool to see that, especially at my age, representation so I can gain appreciation for beauty and diversity within all cultures and people. I watched a movie where there's a fish and the dad fish he loses his son. That's cool. What did you did? Um, I watched a movie called Koila and the guy he's like a dog and he gets locked up in the cage by a bad guy and the bad guy gives him dog food and makes him fight all the dog guys and then the guy falls in love with the girl but the bad guy finds out so he beats up the girl and then he also beats up the guy like he does all the time. Well, that's not very polite of him. And then the guy doesn't listen and he tries to like run away with the girl but then they find him and then they throw his body off the cliff and he falls all the way down on the tree and his neck gets cut open, all the blood is gushing out and he has scars and he's almost dying and he's just sitting there for like four or five days and then somebody found him and then maybe fixed him but then he had to keep his neck like that and there's a lot of blood and bad, bad guys and dogs. That just sounds like Tarzan but like a really messed up Tarzan. Yeah it was like really messed up, I can't stop having nightmares. Why wouldn't you just watch Tarzan if you're gonna watch a Jungle Guy movie? Because my mom told me there's a guy and the girl and they're kissing in that movie and that's bad. You know, kids my age shouldn't watch stuff like that, that's why. See, these specialty Bollywood theaters were like all the rage in the 90s and the early 2000s because this was before the golden era of the Indian soap opera on television. You know the ones that take an already existing plot of a Bollywood movie and water it down and stretch it out into 52 episodes as if a Bollywood movie wasn't long enough. We hit these theaters up on the weekend when Every other family in Brampton, Mississauga would hit up these theaters. So naturally, the lines were super long. But hey, we're masters at finessing our way in and out of many different situations. And that's where my mom would use me as bait and make me go stand in the front of the line with a random stranger, which is a completely safe situation to put a child into, of course. And she would disappear for about five to seven minutes, pretending to shop, um, pretending to use the bathroom, or just hiding in general, just a full-grown adult hiding from their child. And then magically reappear again right before it was my turn, act like she had just found me. <laughs> Which if you think about it, minus the high risk of being kidnapped at any given point, is actually a pretty genius plan. No one's gonna question a dumb looking kid budding in line. And then you'd buy tickets from this tiny box office that was right outside of the theater, which one would assume would have the same pricing strategies as every other movie theater, you know, discounts for children and elders. Nope. Hello, Paji. Haji, welcome, Ji. Say. Take it for me and my child. I don't want to take it. Okay, but it's $21.50. I mean, if you have a child, you have a child for 2 years. No, I'm actually a uncle. 
I'm actually eight, eight years old. Nahin, nahin, eight years nahin, I'm eight, eight, eight years old. Three years old. Three months. Jisme ek se hai price hai, sir. Dekho. Nahin, nahin, nahin. Meri kaha suno bhi bahut expensive hai. Ek chota ja bachcha idhar ko chhoti ji. Ab ek young. I'm not that 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 young. I'm not खराबा चलो फिर इतना करो भी दो कितना दे दो दो ठीक है सर एन्जॉय करो प्लीज नेक्स्ट टू टिकट्स प्लीज वन फॉर मी एंड वन डिस्काउंटेड फॉर माय ब्रांड न्यू न्यू बोर्न सन एंड देन व्हेन यू वॉक इनटू द मूवी थिएटर व्हिच हैड अ क्वेश्चनेबल चॉइस इन वॉल पेंट्स एंड डेकोर यू नोटिस दैट देयर वाज अ कंसेशन स्टैंड इन द मिडल ऑफ द लॉबी व्हिच वाज द मोस्ट कंफ्यूजिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस होल थिंग बिकॉज़ हु इन द शिट was buying snacks. Have you seen the demographic that you're catering to? Everyone, literally everyone was sneaking in their own snacks. Not even snacks, but just full on meals. Wrapped up in tin foil, thermoses, Tupperware, coolers, hiding it under their jackets and really blatantly in some cases. What the hell are you doing, man? What is, why are you bringing the outside food? What's your problem, man? What's wrong with the food here? Why do you have to bring outside bullshit? Why are you doing that face? I don't. I don't like when you're doing that face. Just go, go inside. And if concession stands are how theaters make majority of their profit, and no one's buying snacks, then how are these theaters making any money? Huh? Oh my God, Raju, what happened? Such a quarterly sales, like no profit, se hai. I don't know what to tell you. These people are coming in the theater and they're not buying the food. They're bringing the outside food in the Tupperware container and they're going inside. You know? Why are you not telling them not to come inside? And what am I going to say? I say go enjoy the movie. I don't. You know what they say? It's very concession sales. I am not a police officer. I cannot tell people or kick them out of the theater. If they bring, they bring. They're the sign. Why not read the sign? Make a bigger sign. Oh my God. The only people buying are the gore. The white yeah, people? Yeah, only the white people. Gore? Yes. अच्छा राजू गल सुनेंगे सो आपका जेडे गोरे से है सिंस द कमिंग फॉर इंडियन एक्सपीरियंस तू हु ऑनन चार से टाइम्स ले प्राइस चार्ज से करी से सो इफ आई टाइम्स देम फॉर प्राइस ऑफ द चार्ज ऑफ द फूड देन वी कैन कवर द कॉस्ट ऑफ एवरीथिंग एल्स जी जी हां वाओ दैट्स एक्चुअली अ ब्रिलियंट आईडिया आई विल ट्राई इट दिस आफ्टरनून सी इफ इट वर्क्स नमस्कार Yes, hello. So I'm looking for like a really authentic Indian movie snack. Ha, ah, no problem. I can get you one authentic popcorns, Indian style. That's okay. That would be lovely. Very good. Please wait there. Uh one authentic Indian popcorns, please. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. How much do I owe you? Yes, that will be 79.99. Wait, what? 79.99? Yes, seventy nine dollars for popcorn. This is a very authentic Indian popcorn. I understand. Served with that? the most authentic Indian spice. I just like trying to make sense of it all, you know. Because they have to get the spice from the India, and then all the way in the mountain top, they're picking the spice from the trees. Then they're putting it in the truck, putting it in the boat, coming here. So the gas charge, mileage. Yeah, but still, I just if you don't want the authentic Indian experience. Maybe you can get like a bullshit like Skittles. Maybe bullshit like uh, no, M&M. No, no, no. I, I do. I do want to experience the culture. Yeah, no problem. I'm sorry. Seventy nine. Thank you. Then there's the actual shit show that takes place during the movie watching experience itself, which I'm going to be listing one by one. First and foremost, these groups of men that would come to watch the movie together. and felt the need to commentate as loud as their full grown man voices can project on every possible scene in the movie aa sharu ha karo phuddu banda nahi koi le sharu ka le 
पंजाबी <laughs> Or Bollywood, you know that we love our songs, and the, the song was hype enough. The actual tiny, incredibly tiny space between the seats would turn into a dance floor, which I'm sure you can imagine how that went. People standing up for the national anthem in the movie—it's a movie. You don't have to do that. People that decided to pick up phone calls uh, during the middle of the movie, <laughs> which. <laughs> Why not? There's no other perfect time, right? Ha ha ha! And then there was those people that brought their entire families, including newborn children. Each movie theater would have at least six to seven newborn babies that haven't understood the proper etiquette of a movie theater, so they're not considerate towards others. And they won't shut their dumb, tiny little mouths. And guess who decides to put their foot down and let these people know, hey, enough is enough. There's way too much disruption in this movie theater. On the other top, grab. Obviously. What do you want? What's your problem? Your baby is making too much noise. Why don't you shut up and enjoy the movie? Meri ka sir, main dos dollar de ke ticket khareed gaye hain. Tera pa, kwa sunni hai. I don't care. I also am paying money. I paying two money for one for me, one for my sihli friend. You are a missus. Why you bring a baby to a movie? Why can't my child enjoy the movie? He is not going to understand you know, English. I don't give a shit if you don't understand. Oh, pa, remix kariye na movie sari. intermissions in the middle of the movie because you need a break during these movies you've already been sitting there for two and a half hours which is insane that's longer than any other hollywood movie made and we're only halfway through the movie at which point people would make their way into the lobby maybe to buy some snacks catch up with other families you know kill some time invite them over to each other's houses which nobody actually really meant ठीक है बढ़िया मूवी सी बॉलीवुड मूवी सी ना ओके सी फिर है ना अच्छा रोमांटिक जी सी थोड़ी जी तानू कितना लगी ठीक ठीक सी बट यू नो देयर वाज नो ट्रक इन द मूवी मैं ट्रक चलाना आप मेरी ओथे रिप्रेजेंटेशन नहीं हैगी मूवी विच जिदा सारे ट्रकां दी होनी चाहिदी या ट्रक इज रियली मेन पार्ट ऑफ मूवी नहीं ठीक है गलत आडी है ना या 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 और तुसी आए नहीं करी कर साडे किना चिर हो गया तानू तो पता तोडा हस्बैंड ने मेरे ट्रक विच ठा मारया आई कैन कम टू बिगिन चलो फिर भी चाय पीना है भाई मेरे तो तौर भी नहीं होता My dad, he's at home, and that guy is my dad's friend. And I don't know if my dad knows that my dad's friends here. And Eri Galla, so many, Nana. No, because my mom. Oh, 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 oh. When yeah. we were leaving today, my mom told my dad we're gonna go shopping, and uh, we didn't go shopping. We're gonna yeah, move. Then. I think my mom just used me as an excuse to get so, out of the house. So, Eri Galla, I was saying, but now, what is on our date? Dad has a wife, and then. He didn't she didn't come either. I never let my wife out go with any boys. Never. Okay, chup kar nahi kar. Oh, that फिल्म किससे के लगे ठीक से है अच्छा
कैंडी लेदर स्नैक पॉपकॉर्न से कोकू का पॉपकॉर्न कॉम्बो जाए हो वैसे फ्री अब किसी दिमाग से खराब है नहीं सिर्फ बिजनेस जाओ 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 जी जाओ खाओ 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 पॉपकॉर्न खाओ स्वीट हार्ट पुत्री की हो ऐसे What's wrong? I don't like the movie and I don't like my mom and I don't like the guy that's trying to be my dad. Putri gal sun ke mamnu ke main popcorn se lena. I don't want a popcorn. Mamnu ke se main vada se glossed package ke lena se. I don't want a candy either. Coke na le, ice cream. Sare kuch se hai. Mummy main aa lena. I saw your chocolates they're all uh, all your chocolates are expired. Did you know that? Putri is so yummy in the movie. I don't want to eat. I don't want to get sick and then do ulti all the time. Last time I was in the public and I did a ulti. My mom didn't talk to me for a week. My mom said if I don't stop doing ulti then she's not going to give me roti then I won't do ulti anymore. But jayenge? So okay. Jayenge se mummy ke Why do all you weird uncles touch me all the time? Good Putri ha. Kya le? I'm going to the bathroom. I don't want to Talk to anybody here. At this point, I decided to use the bathroom. And keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever used a public bathroom. Not even that. This is the first time I've used a public bathroom within a desi setting. Not even that. This is the first time I've used a public bathroom within a desi setting with a lot of uncles are in extremely heavy traffic. And here's the thing that I learned: no one waits to get to the urinal to just pull their schlong out. No. They immediately start unbuttoning their pants before even walking through the bathroom door. And already have it popped out, ready, locked and loaded meters before even getting to the urinal itself. Now, as an innocent 7-year-old child, you can imagine how fully unprepared I was to witness that. <laughs> Actually, uh, memory right there is probably the reason why I'm so turned off by these specialty movie theaters, because everything else wasn't wasn't really that bad. Anyways, what were some of your experiences in specialty Bollywood theaters, Hollywood theaters? I don't know. I don't care. Leave them in the comments down below. And they better be funny because I care about that. I don't want to go through these comments and read your bullshit story. And make sure you click subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm trying to get to one million subscribers. Within the next three years. So where did you guys go this weekend? I went to the circus and there was a guy who was jumping high on the trampoline. Uh, I went to Canada's Wonderland and I went on the roller coaster, Ghoster Coaster. Uh, it was formerly known as Scooby Doo Ghoster Coaster, but now it's the Peanuts Ghoster Coaster because the Wonderland sold the rights. I went to a hockey game because that's a sport my family can afford to watch. I went to the movie theater and then I went to the bathroom and then all the older uncle guys they all had their peepees hanging out. Oh, that sounds terribly disgusting. Oh, uh, so many peepees like big fat ones and like so much hair on the peepee and then uh, like everywhere I look cuz there's uncle peepee, uncle peepee, another uncle peepee. Wow, where are their manners? One uncle had a peepee and it was like a small uncle peepee and it's like when you gonna eat a sausage and then you have like a one bite left that's what it look like dude where the f do your parents take you oh I, i don't know the mall yo i need to like stop hanging out with this guy man i'm getting like second hand trauma maybe one day i'm gonna have a fat big uncle peepity too stop, Please, stop. shut up Hey, just made the
look have you ever tried this one no if you ever come to the movie theater don't steal from here because there will be a bounty on your head oh my god that's the stupidest joke i've heard in my life let me tell you this one are you feeling stupid no but you're pretty stupid maybe you should have a smarty like i'm like a little kid and you're still not like making me laugh which Just means me, let your me, standards are pretty low already and you're only that's how bad you are at telling jokes no because i am sharp like a arrow what the hell dude stop okay. hey don't Just stop don't use this language don't get your kachi in it tricks oh my Am god right? don't put your kachi in the tricks <laughs> what a beer hey let me tell you my best joke have you tell me this one A duck walks into Oh my god stop